The purpose of this experiment is to look at the relationship between the resistance of a wire and this cross-sectional area. And we'll see that as the cross-sectional area gets smaller, the resistance will increase. Now, the resistance of a wire depends on three things. It depends on length, it depends on resistivity, and it depends on cross-section area. Today's experiment, we're going to look at the relationship between resistance and cross-section area. And what we'll notice is here that as the wire gets thinner, the resistance will increase. Now, the reason this is important is because we know that in electronics and in computers, transistors are used um, in inside integrated circuits. And the problem with, with, the, with this is that in the Intel Pentium chip, it's going to produce a lot of heat. It's more difficult for current to, to pass through a conductor when the resistance is high. So what we need for this experiment is first of all a multimeter, and the multimeter is set to, the, to read ohms, which is the unit of resistance. We start at the lowest end of the scale, which reads to a maximum of 200 ohms, and I have three strips of nichrome wire, which very, very importantly, are of the same length and they have different cross-sectional areas. The first strip of wire is quite thick and the last one is quite thin. So let's have a look at the first wire. So the resistance of the first wire, so I'm attaching the crocodile clips to either end of the, of the first wire, and I can see I'm registering roughly about one ohm there. So if I go down to a smaller thickness of nichrome, and if I look at its resistance, I can see here that I have 4.4 ohms, which is obviously a greater resistance than the first piece of wire. So I can see there that the cross-section areas get smaller and the resistance is increasing. And in the third piece of wire, which has the smallest cross-section area, and this time I can see the resistance has shot up to 15.6, 15.7 ohms. So this particular experiment demonstrates very, very well that as the cross-section area gets smaller, the resistance increases. And therefore, it's more difficult for current to pass through the wire. That's it.